I'm Cynthia Merchant, and I'm here today with a panel of uh, educators discussing Healing Civilization, a new book by Dr. Claudio Naranjo, a longtime consciousness pioneer. I'd like my panel to introduce themselves. Bob? I'm Dick Hart, and I uh, have a PhD Close. from the University Close. of Texas in psychology and uh, information processing. Taught at some universities, and uh, now I'm doing mainly game programming. I'm Ivan Lurie. Uh, I'm a, a, a writer, poet, and a, a book editor. And um, I, I have uh, degrees from the University of Chicago and the University of Arizona. And I've been an adjunct professor for years here in uh, Community College in California. My name is Oz Fritz. I'm a sound engineer. I dropped out of school in the 10th grade and self-educated myself. Mm -hmm and uh, got a degree in sound engineering. Mm -hmm. My name is Claude Needham. I have a PhD in molecular biophysics with a specialty in quantum mechanics. Currently, I'm a writer in spiritual gaming and working on game design as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So in his new book, Healing Civilization, Dr. Claudio Naranjo quotes Wendell Berry, and he says, uh, who says, rats and roaches live by competition under the law of supply and demand. It is the privilege of human beings to live under the laws of justice and mercy. I'm sorry, I, I haven't seen that. Where is this <laughs> justice and mercy which he's talking about is living under? I think Wendell Berry is a dreamer. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What, is, what, is, what does Claudio have to say about this? I mean, does he, does he agree with Wendell Berry? Well, I think Claudio is uh, uh, proposing that our patriarchal civilization is um, uh, too influenced by this patriarchal idea of you know, survival of the fittest. And he's saying human beings were not meant to live that way. Like rats and cockroaches? Like rats and cockroaches. Well, oh, I don't know. <laughs> So, well, do you agree or do you disagree? Rats and cockroaches? This time. Well, <clears throat> I would agree with that. That we're not meant to live like rats and cockroaches. I would like to hope that there's something different than what we're currently living under, yeah. But I think we I, actually I, were I meant think to Wendell, live like I think this. that that quote there that he's quoting, Wendell Berry is an extreme cockeyed optimist or idealist. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I think that... It's absolutely true that, that most of the society is being run uh, like a uh, hive of rats or cockroaches. It's how we, we, it's how we evolve. We yeah, evolve but we do have the right to, to do something different. We I yeah. think it's a great quote because it seems to rights, encapsulate the subject of the book being civilization as it currently exists with is being well, where's the justice? Yeah, cockroaches. but where's the justice? And we're, we need to live like human beings. We need to live with those yeah, under sure, those but where's, I mean, justice where's the justice and mercy? Darwin, we've known that it's always been the survival of the fittest well, it's now. Well, in, it's in the book. It's actually not the fittest. It's, it's the survival of who can live long enough to procreate. It has, it's not a question of fit, it's know. a question of who can you knock up and how well, long. Well, look who we accepted on our Supreme Court. <laughs> Will they survive? But this is why Talk civilization needs to be healed. I mean, it's presenting the situation as it is, mm -hmm. i.e. rats and cock, rats and roaches, and saying that we do have the privilege, that the potential is there to live under laws of justice and mercy. It's not... But our, I do think our that's school the systems are based on the idea of like whoever way. gets right. the best grades gets into the best high school, whoever gets in the best high school and gets the best grades gets in the best college, yeah, whoever gets the best college think, gets yeah, the best that job. That I think it's documentable. I think it's documentable right now that, that if you t if you <clears> took a poll of most students coming out of high school, you will find out that they know more about rats and cockroaches than they know about justice and truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We've been here discussing Claudio Naranjo's new book, Healing Civilization. Thank you very much for tuning in, for watching. I'm E.J. Gold, and we were, we're discussing Dr. Claudio Naranjo's new book, which is called Healing Civilization. Healing Civilization. You can find this book online you can find this book at bookstores everywhere and gene houston did the introduction beautiful introduction yeah, by gene houston. Right there. really good piece of work thank you very much guys for coming and, and, and arguing this out with me let's go All right. tune in again remember you're watching you're watching justin tv slash gorbag tv gorbag tv the place